you know, you know, Witherspoon uh, was uh, a, a serious thinker, no question. Uh, a deeply influential uh, teacher of Madison at Princeton. Uh, the, uh, you know, on this portion of the paper that you point out, uh, I try to suggest that there's some kind of shift in Witherspoon's thought between uh, being a Scotch minister and being a Scotch minister in America. And uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened, uh, but, <laughs> but at least something changed with his ethics. Uh, and uh, one book that uh, uh, addresses this in, in quite a bit of detail is called Republican Theology. It's by a, a, a a very good political theorist uh, at Christopher Newport University here in Virginia, uh, where the author discusses uh, the, the influence that Benjamin Rush had on Witherspoon. So Witherspoon was uh, was keen, it seems, on not coming to the United uh, to America. Uh, but Benjamin Rush actually traveled to Scotland to try to convince him otherwise, and he succeeded. Uh, and uh, what seems to be significant there is that uh, Rush was very much in, uh, interested in uh, effectively using the Bible as a tool of Republican government to secure virtue and so on. Uh, and, and so you begin to see some of this uh, in Witherspoon's thought. Uh, you know, so, uh, but with respect to uh, some of uh, Witherspoon's uh, influence on the revolution, uh, I quote here, uh, uh, one one classic article that says that uh, uh, people called Princeton Witherspoon Seminary of Sedition. I know. It's in, uh, <laughs> the Seminary <laughs> of in, Sedition. Yeah, so it has a good... I think Witherspoon may have been kind of proud of that, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if it's in here, but you know, another one of the famous quotes from uh, Witherspoon himself about the question of revolution was that he was asked whether uh, he thought America was ready for revolution. Um, uh, and he said that his view was that America is not only ripe for independence, but rotten for the want of it. And so he's very much, you know, uh, advocating for action here. Now, um, uh, part of the point uh, that I try to make here is that, uh, as you suggest, at least on some questions, uh, Witherspoon is a little bit more prepared on various ethical questions uh, to use uh, some sort of independent reason, arguably, uh, according to some, arguably, uh, more than he should, uh, to to understand what we should be doing in, in terms of uh, human nature. Do we look to ultimately to our humanity as a guide for ethics, uh, or do we have to check that looking to humanity at least uh, against certain certain principles uh, that we find in the scriptures? Uh, uh, you know, I, I try to suggest the same thing also. Uh, I feel like I'm going to make make sure people aren't my friends. If, uh, if they want <laughs> it, but I try to suggest the same thing about Rutherford as well uh, earlier. So uh, in Lex Rex, uh, uh, this is a, uh, you know, this is a book that was not terribly influential directly on the American Revolution, but was uh, uh, people were aware of it, uh, at least. And so... Uh, you know, Rutherford was was clearly uh, a little bit more influenced by a variety of the, the neo the later neo Thomists uh, and had some of their flavor uh, a little bit more than Thomas, for example. And so uh, a lot of the the uh, the Spanish neo Thomists, uh, uh, Vasquez uh, and others, uh, these would be people who uh, very much were operating with, uh, you know, a very robust sense of, of reason vis-a-vis uh, uh, sacred scripture. 